Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of ENF TV. You'll probably notice that we're not actually in my living room. We're actually finally on property. We're finally able to start getting back to what we love most about our industry. Um, and that's actually what this series is all about. So this series is actually called the People on Property series, where we're going to be celebrating our industry getting back to doing what it does best. And I thought, where better to start than with my good friend Jonathan, um, who is the Director of Revenue and Marketing Strategy at GLH Hotels. And Jonathan was actually one of the first people that appeared on our show back when we recorded it in the December of 2019, believe it or not. All that time ago before oh, COVID. Yeah, right? All that time ago <laughs> when things actually were normal. Um, so guys, just to let you know, this whole series is actually being sponsored by Duetto, which is one of the uh, world's leading revenue management software businesses. Um, and also in partnership with Rise Up, which as you may or may not know now, I am a chapter leader for the UK and Ireland. Um, so a big Big thank you to both organizations for wanting to be involved in this really positive series. Um, I suppose, Jonathan, since we last caught up, I don't even know if I should say this or not, but how's the last 12 months been? <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally busy. Yeah. Obviously with the pandemic having such a big impact on our industry, we took the opportunity to step back, mm. have a look at our business and just think, what do our customers want? Yeah. as we come out of this and we've yeah. been able to put together a brand new brand the claremont where we are today course, opened yeah. today um, but also looking at our other brands and looking at our whole customer journey because sure. what's really important that we found through the pandemic is people are really looking for security yeah comfort yeah. Um, and they want to get back to that that pattern of travel they want to have those experiences how can we do that best that's sure. what we've been really focusing on i think it's one of these things where this period has been an opportunity to really reevaluate, right? Look at what we've been doing great, but I suppose more importantly, look at what we haven't been doing great, but also what we can adapt. And I, I know I've said this on, on my channel for, for a number of uh, episodes now, but it's been an opportunity to drive that positive change. And I suppose, where have you seen that opportunity most within the business? Where, where have you sort of implemented that, I suppose? We've seen change everywhere. Yeah. We've rebuilt our complete commercial tech stack, mm -hmm. looking at all our agencies and partners and how can we get the best out of the products that we, we have. Sure. We've looked at our, our product mm -hmm. because it's not often that you have a business that works 24 seven that's completely shut down. So yeah. going back of house, doing pipes, renovating, yeah. redoing restaurants and bars, yeah. all those sorts of things when we don't have customers in house that we're not going to disturb. So we got sure. through a lot of work that yeah. usually would take us years to get through if we had to do it piece by piece. No, definitely. And and uh, something you just actually mentioned um, about partnerships. Of course, Edwards of Finn being partnered with you as an exclusive agency to be recruiting for your commercial team, which is absolutely brilliant for us. And um, we've certainly seen uh, some, some great activity so far, which is great. Um, and hopefully we can start seeing some fantastic new talent coming into the business. Absolutely. We're starting to ramp up our teams now. Yeah. Uh, we lost quite a few people through the pandemic, whether they've, sure. they've left the UK, left London. Um, but now as the hotels open, it's time to, to grow that team. Yes. And hopefully by end of summer, we'll have all our hotels open and really starting to see people coming back enjoying London at its best. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. In, in terms of talent, obviously, as, as you mentioned, I suppose, as, as you know, and as I said at the start of the episode, I, um, I'm now the uh, UK and Ireland chapter leader for, for Rise Up, which is massively sort of focused on empowering uh, people within our industry, within the hospitality and travel tech industry. And I suppose from a diversity perspective, because that's a massive focus of mine at the moment, and I'm on a bit of a journey myself to understand uh, more about the diversity piece, but how important it actually is. And it's something that I'm starting to realise more and more. And I suppose, what's GLH's stance on the diversity piece and how focused are you on that? We've had a real strong focus and building that up as we reopen, because we we understand that our, our customer base is very diverse. London sure. is an international market. Yeah. And for our, our teams to respond to our customers and, and know what they want and anticipate their needs, mm. they need to have an understanding. So by having a diverse team, having real strength, by having that diversity comes through to the customer and the customer is then happy to return. Yeah. It's, it's good for business always. No, definitely, definitely. And I suppose, with regards to the openings then, because I know that we've had a number of openings this week and then we've got them continuing. So it'd be great for our guys to hear what the opening strategy has been like and how it's gone. We, 
we're very privileged because we have so many hotels in London mm. that are very close to each other. So we've been able to have all the hotels open for sale yes. and then upgrade people into the hotels that are, are open. So this week we've had the Royal Horse Guards yeah. open, Thistle Piccadilly just down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, today was the Charing Cross, the Claremont. Yes. Uh, tomorrow will be the Hard Rock London. And then next week we'll have uh, Thistle uh, in Poole, yes, as well as Thistle Holborn. So we have wow. all these hotels opening, which is fantastic. Yeah, still got a few closed, sure. but as we see that demand grow, as people are coming to London, we'll open those other hotels as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And again, we've actually got here on the day that it's opening. So the Charing Cross um, uh, Hotel has opened today, and we're here recording, which is a, a fantastic opportunity for us. Um, and one thing I would say is is something I've I've said on the series before is one thing that you really can't get anywhere else is the camaraderie that you get on property. How good has it been to see your people back on property, doing what they do best, interacting with guests? It's, it's been so long. It's, yeah. it's been really great actually for the last couple of weeks because usually you can't train the entire team because you have the hotel operating, you've got sure. people on shift. Yeah. But with the hotels closed, we've been able to bring the entire team together take them through all the training, yeah. develop their skills, ready for the new brand, ready for the, the reopening. And that has just built morale fantastically well. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, while I'm talking to Jonathan, why don't you guys take a look at the hotel now and then come back to us in just a moment. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the hotel. Um, now we're obviously back with Jonathan. So Jonathan, we know that obviously we're, the Claremont today has opened. We know obviously the hotels earlier in the week have opened. And of course the Hard Rock is gonna be opening very soon, which is very exciting. Um, what's the next big one after that? Uh, the Claremont Victoria. Okay. So the Grosvenor Hotel, actually during, refurbish, uh, during the pandemic, we've refurbished the entire hotel. So it is Amazing. brand spanking new, ready to open in June. Fantastic. Well, we'll see if we can get here in June as well then. <laughs> um, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for taking the time out and, and of course for having us because we feel very privileged to be here um, and it is something that we are very proud of. And as I say, this message of spreading this positivity about our industry getting back on its feet is hugely important to us. And to have you on board with that and to hear what's going on with you guys is, is really fantastic. And I'm so happy to hear it. Um, Guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of ENF TV. We really hope you enjoy this People on Property series. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, Edwards and Finn, which is ENF TV. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, where we are incredibly active. And don't forget to actually follow me on uh, LinkedIn, because you'll always see all the updates and everything else going on there. Um, a massive thank you again to our sponsor, which is Duetto. Um, and of course, the series is in partnership with Rise Up. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Talk to you soon.